What further proof of the reality of AIDS is needed than the sobering fact that two of last year's recipients of this award are dead? But it's living with AIDS, not dying, that is the focus of Silver Lake life. about Tom is what he feels like. You know, I know his, what his neck feels like to kiss him, to bite it, and I know what his head feels like in his forehead. Because I was so used to just being able to run into the other room and kiss him on the forehead or pester him or bother him or get some attention from him. And I can't do that anymore. scary to look at him the first time after he died you to look him in the face um, but I did I don't remember it but I know I looked at him and then I wanted to close his eye because it's very strange seeing a dead person staring and I tried just like in the movies to close the eyelid it doesn't close <laughs> it pops back open <clears throat> as I said to Tom I apologize that life wasn't like the movies movies you just so dramatically close the eyelids and it's all over with but it didn't here to accept is peter friedman producer and director and ellen schneider co-executive producer of silver lake life Thank you very much. I, I would really like to express my gratitude to Ellen Schneider and uh, POV and PBS for taking what seemed at the time like a very substantial risk in broadcasting um, this film. Uh, and uh, most of all, of course, um, it was Tom Joslin, uh, my friend and mentor, who deeply wanted to, um, for his personal tragedy, to generate something of value, and it was a great privilege for me to participate in that. Thank you very much. <laughs>